and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Now this is the second part of what I explained before that I'm splitting into a separate video. So as you guys know, or you probably heard my other video, Theme Diamond 2.0 will be releasing into Madden tomorrow with the Series 5 update as well as all this other content. Quite honestly guys, we got a crazy amount of content in the last few hours. I was not expecting this much stuff. Now if you guys don't know what Theme Diamonds are, pretty much right over here is the Theme Diamond cards. Now remember, Theme Diamonds typically are a bunch of legends that aren't typically like brand name that you're used to seeing in Madden. So you get a lot of guys that are pretty cool. Like if you're a, if you're a lifelong fan of any of these teams, you probably know this player. So a lot of people are getting some of their best or favorite players from the team that won't get honored as a legend in the game, but they are a legend of that team. You guys know what I'm saying? So for instance, one guy's Victor Cruz is a Giants fan. He's a he's one of the fan favorites as a Giants fan, but he's never gonna be like a all time type legend card, more than likely. So that's kind of like what this promo is for. But it's pretty cool that we got the 2.0. Plenty of stuff to go over. Another new master should be coming tomorrow. 32 players were revealed, so I gotta go over all that. So I'm gonna take you guys over there in just a second. As you guys know, we're super close to our goal of 20,000 subscribers. We're 800 subscribers away. We gained about 300 yesterday. So if you guys keep this pace up and keep the same energy, we should hit it in no time. So if you're watching this video and you're onto the channel, start subscribing and watch that number start flying up. Comment down below what you think of the Theme Diamond 2.0 promo as we watch this video. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes? on all this team diamond information that we greatly appreciated now guys send it over to the screenshots and check out all the new players right, guys i did turn off the face cam for this segment of the video because i do not want to be covering stats when i go through all the 32 players now these are the rewards for the journey which is going to be kind of like the theme of journey is kind of going to be themed diamonds so tier one's nap player tier two is nap player and team tier three is nap player so these are going to be nap players required in the brand new theme diamond part two sets now these do range in overall so this pack right here will give you an 87 to a 90 overall this pack here will give you an 87 to a 91 overall. And this will give you an 87 to a 92 overall. So these are going to be like base elites, um, you know, flashbacks, veterans, whatever goes into that specific team. So like for the Giants, maybe like a Saquon Barkley, Mutt Hero card might be in um, the 91 pack. Something similar up that alley. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's keep on moving because we got a lot to cover. We got the Theme Diamond Journey. Again, don't really got to go over that. It's just going to be Journey's going to be based on Theme Diamond. And as well as guys, we do get our Journey 3 completion token in this. So just remember that you may or may not be able to get a Journey Master type collection that they might add because typically after the third Journey or third Gauntlet, we typically get a Master, but stay tuned for that. Now, here's just the um, the, the collections, you know, not the collections. The missions and stuff, nothing too important there. This is going to be Theme Diamond 2 Master Night Train Lane. I'm kind of super excited about this. See, so yeah, I was in, I was planning to remove Night Train Lane from my team and kind of upgrade him, but now that he came out as a master, I'll wait for his price to come down. I'll probably just end up picking him up and adding him to my team as one of my endgame cornerbacks. Him, Dion, and probably like a Champ Bailey will probably set it out. And then obviously there's going to be one of every 32 teams. As we move on, these are what the Nat Fantasy Packs is like. Like I was saying, just a bunch of like base cards that can fit into your team because it's pretty much theme team type when it comes to these collections. Then we got just some more. You see Khalil Mack, they will all be Nat, of course. And then we got the new solo challenges. Now, it's pretty cool. You can see some guys right here. Mike Brown, Taylor Mays, Eric Wood, Josh Kripp. Some pretty big names. And as you guys can see what I meant by that, like, they're going to be big names, but they're not going to be, like, it's not going to be Deion Sanders. It's going to be big names for teams. So, like, as a certain fan, as a Browns fan, or a Chicago Bears fan, I should say, you, you know Mike Brown. As a legend in the NFL, maybe you don't. You guys know what I'm saying? Let's keep moving on. First card I'm be showing you guys right here is Tracy Porter. Tracy Porter, one of the Super Bowl heroes for the Saints when he picked off Peyton Manning and took it back to the house. 95 speed, 95 excel. I'm not going to go over every stack because it's 32 cards. will take quite a while, but great card in all in all, to be quite honest with you guys. Really fast, decent, good man, decent coverage all around. Going to be a great for a Saints team team. Not going to be great for a regular team in my opinion. Then we've got Algy Crumpler. Out, it, out crumpler tight end 85 speed good catching decent route running much rather have some of the other tight ends in the game but again still a decent option for falcons and we got simeon rice as a right end everything's pretty much in the 80s besides a few stats not a great card all in all you guys can obviously pause as you feel feel free to pause i just don't want to spend too much time on one card because obviously this doesn't apply to everyone and then we got just one of one of the sets here which is one of the kickers for the dolphins you guys can see how it's just like a cum a culmination of just a bunch of different promos got gilbert brown defensive tackle for the packers low speed low excel but great block shed, great play rec, great strength. Going to be great for a Packers theme team. As a regular player, not so much. I'll let you guys know when I find someone that I think is good all in all. Eric Williams right here. Okay, if he is a decent price, not bad. Decent, pretty good run style blocking, pretty good pass blocking. If he's for a good price, 
kind of worth it although he might end up being the same price if not more than nfl 100 and team of the year right tackle which would then mean you'd probably be better off with them we got victor cruz as a giants fan this is super awesome 94 speed guys not a bad option powered up and chemed up probably gets like a 96 97 speed potentially gonna be super great on a giants team team as a regular player still could be pretty decent He's, i mean i'm probably biased as a giants fan but with the 94 speed at wide receiver you can always be used that's pretty much the moral of what I'm trying to say right now. Really, really great card right there. Chris Jenkins, defensive tackle for the Panthers. All 90 stats for the most part when it comes to block shed, moving, oh, power moves, strength, tackle, play rec. Pretty great. Nothing on a regular team, but still solid. Then we got Garrison Hurst, 95 overall halfback, 93 speed. That's pretty good for a 49er back right there. I don't believe we have any other 49er backs at this moment that theme team-wise are better. We do have the, we have Tevin Coleman. We have Matt Burita. We have some cards. We have Raheem Mostert. Yeah, Raheem Mostert's going to be better. He's a much better speed. But this card can be powered up, which is a benefit. And he's got some power to him, so pretty great. And I know a lot of you guys who are long-term, long -term, lifelong fans of any of these teams, you guys are probably jumping for joy with every player I name. Marcus Trufant, 95 overall cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks. Honestly, this card isn't horrible. Great speed, great zone. And a straight-up zone scheme, going to be great, and on, even on a regular team in a straight-up zone scheme. But if you're more of a man, you blitz here and there, and you change up your defense here and there, not going to be versatile enough. He's a straight-up only zone guy. Dante Culpepper. Honestly, this is a throwback right here. He typically gets a regular legend card. I'm surprised he hasn't yet this year. Decent stats, not too great. Has some 80 stats, and a quarterback at this point in the game should not have many 80 stats. Speed's not that fast either. He can have, obviously, on a Vikings theme team, he can be pretty great, although there is Randall Cunningham already. Gonna be great for a few theme. Uh, what was it? I forgot the other team he played for. Or was it just the Vikings? I don't remember. But the point is, he's decent on a the theme team, not a regular quarterback, though. And then Johnny Morton, wide receiver for the. Detroit Lions, I mean, Detroit Lions don't really have many options for theme teams. When it comes to wide receiver, they do. They're going to have eventually have Calvin, hopefully. They have Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones. That's like the one spot they have. They got to start working it around to get them some other spots. Cards decent overall, nothing great. And like I'm saying, I'm not saying these cards are bad. It's just in comparison to like team of the year and other cards you could get. I imagine these cards will be pretty expensive. So depending on their price will dictate whether or not I think they're worth it. Josh Cribbs has always been a straight up kick return guy. So disregard all that. He's pretty much Devin Hester. Gonna be like a cheaper style Devin Hester, hopefully. 94 speed, should have like close to like 90, 95 juking, 99 spin. Maybe good agility, maybe even human joystick. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Then we got Jamal Lewis, 95 halfback for the Ravens. This is a pretty good addition for the Ravens team teams. Add another versatile rushing back into the backfield with great power on top of that. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, who is that running back? Amon Green, kind of reminds me of like an Amon Green for the Ravens, pretty solid. Then we got Tony Baselli, left tackle. This is a really solid looking left tackle for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Especially when it comes to theme teams, linemen are typically hard to come by. So getting good linemen are great for the Jacksonville theme team. And they probably have Fournette in the backfield. And hopefully maybe MJD at some point. Next, we got Mike Jones, 95 overall left outside linebacker for the Rams. Looking okay. Can't really can't really block shed. Can't really pass rush. Decent speed, decent excel. He'd have to have good zone, but we have to wait and see for that. We got Rod Smith, 95 overall wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. Pretty, pretty good looking card. Great catching, decent route running, decent speed. Kind of reminds me of like an Antonio Brown type card. If only the route running was a little bit better. Not too, he's not too tall. He's kind of like an average receiver. On a Broncos team, he's obviously going to be great though. We got Antonio Cromartie, which is a big name, guys. Now, this card could play on a regular team. He's got 94 speed, 93 excel, 95 agility, 95 jumping, 90 play rec, 94 man, 92 zone, 91 press. Powered up and chemed up, we'll get like a 96 speed with like a 97, 98 zone, a 98, 97 man, 95, 96 zone, and then around a 94 press. This card can be played on most teams. This is one of the few cards so far that I believe can be played on most teams that will pick him up. Logan Mankins, I do remember him very well. Now, I didn't know he was a left guard though. I thought he was some other position. But anyways, he's 95 overall. Great, great protection all around. Decent card. Honestly, on a Patriots team, team, of course, he'd be great. Even on a regular team, he's not going to be bad. It really just depends on these guys' prices. Then we got Taylor Mays, another fan favorite. This card can be played on a lot of teams beyond just your regular, um, your regular style Bengal theme team, if that's even a thing. 94 speed, great speed. 94 excel, 6 foot 3, 91 tackle, 90 play rec, 90 pursuit, 91 zone, and 95 hit power. Now, the beauty of this card, you can put him at like outside linebacker or middle linebacker, put him in the box, and this card's going to be a monster. Great height, great hit power, great speed. Going to be a great user. I'm telling you guys, this card's going to be pretty glitchy. Probably going to be really expensive, though. Then another addition to, I don't, I wouldn't say a Cardinals theme team. I say more likely you'll probably use that on a Ravens theme team. Now, Ravens theme team just keeps getting a boost and boost upon boost. Looking pretty awesome. Great catching, great route running, decent speed. Looks very similar to that other wide receiver we saw before, the Rod Smith. 
Then we got Brian Westbrook. A lot of guys, especially Philadelphia team, have been waiting for this. Haven't seen him in the game in quite a while. Looking decent. Decent power. Not great power. Uh, decent speed. He's kind of like a very well-rounded back with great agility. He's quick, but he's not the fastest. We got Doug Williams. Yeah, there's an old one right here. You can just tell by the face mask right there. 95 overall quarterback. Passing and everything's decent. Kind of slow. Reminds me kind of Dwayne Haskins right here. If Dwayne Haskins had a good overall card, kind of looks like him too, to me, in my opinion. Has like that similar looking build. Very stocky looking. I'm surprised his throw power isn't higher. But not fast, which kind of sucks because at this point in the game, we have so many mobile quarterbacks in the game beyond guys, beyond like beyond just pocket passers. Even Mahomes, who is the best pocket passer, can also can also run. So I don't think at this point you want to be taking a middle range pocket passer. Even on a Redskins team team. I mean, there's not many better, there's not many better choices right now, but I definitely, I guess you're, you know, whatever. You guys get the point. Nemandi Asamwaga. Nemandi Asamwa. Don't want to say that wrong. I'm happy to see him back. Wish his stats were a little bit better, but it's been quite a while since I've seen him in the game. Stats are decent. All around, well-rounded. Would I recommend him? Probably not, but on an Eagles team team, going to be looking pretty awesome. Joey Porter, 95 overall right outside linebacker for the Steelers. All around, great pass rush. Pretty decent block shedding, great height, great speed, great excel. This could be on a regular team if it wasn't for Lawrence Taylor. Let's move him to left outside. Derek Mason, wide receiver, not too great, too low speed for my liking. He is well rounded though, as most of the wide receivers in this have been. Edgerin James, 95 overall, 95 overall halfback for the Indianapolis Colts. Very well rounded, great speed, great power. Kind of reminds me of a similar Eric Dickerson type build when he first came out, stat wise, although he's not going to be nearly as great. Although Eric Dickerson was just nerfed. Then we got Brian Cushing. I do remember him well since I've been playing Madden since Madden 13. I remember him being in most games. Good speed. Good hit power. Good zone. Very well-rounded as per usual. Not going to be a starter on my team, but he does look very well-rounded. Will Shields, 95 overall, right guard. Going to be a guy that could be played on most teams if you if he's cheap enough. Obviously, it comes down to that. Joe Klecko, 95 overall, left end for the Jets. Great block shedding, great power move, great athleticism, great tag, great player. Can be played on more than just theme teams, although on a Jets theme team, definitely going to be really beastly. That's the beauty of all these cards, guys. On a theme team, they're all going to get to like 97, 98, and they're all going to be like gods. So, and the right team, these are all great additions for you. Eric Wood at center, again, solid addition. Almost 93s all across the board or above. Really great card at center, although I don't know if I'd choose him. Olindo Mare, Mari, Mari, whatever. Kicker for the Dolphins. Kick power, only 92. Don't think that's too great. Better kickers out in the game already. We have Mike Brown, 92 overall, for, oh, 95 overall free safety. 92 speed, 92 hit power, 92 zone. Very well-rounded. Could be played on a lot of teams, although I'd probably prefer my Sean Taylor. Still looks like a budgety version of Sean Taylor. And then we have the Night Train Lane stats, which I don't know if you guys saw already. 98 overall cornerback, 94 speed, 94 excel, 95 agility, 96 jumping, 93 play rack, 93 man, 97 zone, 94 press. Chemmed up, maxed out, gonna have 99 zone, close to 99 press, close to like 97, 98 man coverage. Great play rec, great speed, carb like a 96 speed. Gonna be an end game cornerback. I will definitely be picking him up when the price is right. Although Kurt Warner never really came down too much, so we're gonna have to wait and see on that. But that pretty much wraps up all the theme diamond stuff, guys. Hope I didn't miss anything. My phone is not working right now, so a lot of my notes are on there, but I think I covered just about everything. This will be coming tomorrow, I believe, with series two. Gonna be pretty. There's a lot of content today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, go down below. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Get to 20,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. You guys keep the same energy from yesterday. We'll get there in no time. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for the new promo. Let's get 300 likes on this video. Comment down below what you think of all these cards and who are you going to be picking up for your theme team or your regular team. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.